Welcome back today guys to the channel Top 10 Trips of the Week is back in 2024 man Huge thank you to everyone that has made this series what it is today Really looking forward to reviving this into 2024 We have a massive sponsor on board for this week BenQ Mobius Gaming Who are hooking one lucky winner up with a brand new Mobius Gaming 32 inch 4K IPS 1 millisecond response time 144 hertz gaming monitor it's a mouthful, but it's beautiful though. I use the same series model at home. I love these things. Before we get into the tech specs though, here's how to enter in to top 10 drifts now in 2024. Step one, Discord link found down below. All you guys need to do, click that. It'll bring you into the Discord. Step two, find the top 10 clips section on the left in the Discord group. And step three, submit your clips. Preferred with no music, we'll have a better chance of getting picked with clips with music, right? It's just, I have to mute them unfortunately. Uh, and we're gonna be bringing back the fan art as well too which you guys can see here huge thank you to Casile for starting us off with a blue beetle man right how long does those take I feel like they must take all day the monitor entries will be taken three ways one if you are chosen in the top 10 drifts lineup you'll get an entry you can have more than one entry though so it's not just you can have one and then bang you're done two gleam link found down below to enter in we're gonna be drawing some winners through there as well too but all the winners from these three steps will be pulled into one for one final grand prize winner if that makes sense or you guys can comment top 10 drifts in the comment section down below i'll be pinning one lucky comment in 48 hours for an entry in to the giveaway as well so there's three ways to get into this beautiful monitor and just a huge thanks to BenQ for supplying this beast for us this month. A few techie things to cover before we get into this today. The Color Shuttle, if you have not already downloaded this, if you have a BenQ monitor, make sure you guys go ahead and do so. You'll want to install this. It's a fine tuner for your monitor, basically. You can upload, download people's settings as well, too. Super handy, very powerful tool. Q also utilizes the power of HDRI made to enhance the existing HDR effects by fine tuning light settings. Monitor itself will give you a handful of different settings to mess with as well uh, that you can change with and really just personalize the monitor to your liking, including the BenQ's own light tuner feature as well. It'll decide what should be brighter, what should be darker and kind of go off that. It's a really cool concept. I've seen a couple videos on it. I feel like this monitor will complete anyone's look in their home office space. Three ways to enter in. Huge thank you to BenQ. Right, of course, now that we have all that out of the way, let's have a look at who's starting us off at number 10 this week. Helvin Tola here on a set of Corsa trying out the car parks drift course for the first time. He's in the E46 behind in the chase and he's doing quite well back there especially for a first run on a course. Obviously if you have been on a VDC layout running for the first time can be very intimidating. Thankfully he had somebody in front of him. He's just overall a great driver as well too. Huge thank you for his consistency in these clips. The man can drive basically anything with four wheels. The man's good. Number Nine this week coming in today another set of Corsa clip coming in from Wisted and this is the Tokyo Drift Car Park full send a set of Corsa he definitely does full send this he sent me the entire clip I had to just kind of clip it to what I really enjoyed of this because obviously this is a very hard course uh, if you guys haven't already the Tokyo Drift Parking Garage it's been around for a decade now but it's still one of the harder ones to get right you got a lot of hairpin turns you also have that finishing spiral going up the hill which you need to get going underneath the truck all in the same time so i think he does a great job on here pushing his s14 to the absolute limit out here man look at him handbrake and all looking good and then the pro street poster to finish it off it doesn't get any better than that number eight though i can't even pronounce it i'm so sorry we have some back room ascent course of content out here it feels like right it's just old school vhs downhill toge i really enjoyed this and i felt like it was a perfect clip to throw in here for top 10 like i said it could be really anything that you like have some creativity in your clips maybe running with multiple people as well too it's all in the creativity and make sure you're having fun at the end of the day number seven coming in from tkf430 with a need for speed most wanted 2005 clip now it is very hard to get a good solid consistent drift on this game especially with the old school physics and stuff like that but he manages to do exactly that is 300 i do believe holding it down with the skull vinyl wide body and the roof scoop that's need for speed vibes if i've ever seen them right? and then he finishes it off into the roadblock man number six today the crew motor fest this is really cool makes me want to hop back on this game with the wheel it really does black talk me throwing it in here absolutely insane 
with this Mustang. Uh, you know, it's nice to see the full wheel cam as well, too. If you guys are sending in your clips and you guys do want to throw in your wheel cam, that will definitely add in some bonus points out here, right? I feel like I'm grading papers as a teacher, right? Try to have some creativity, hit the tandems, right? That's all I'm asking for. It's not that difficult out here, and he's going to make it look extremely easy on the wheel. The Crew Motor Fest, it's a fun game. Wish we had more roads like this, the toge roads, the toge events in particular, right? When we did the drifting events, it was a lot of the same thing. So I'm going to have to look for this road in particular. Number five this week, coming back to Car X Drift Racing. We got a TikTok page here from Zoo JX. He's got the full wheel cam. He throws a backwards entry, clips it with the grind, and then finishes it off. Nice, clean. I like the multiple cameras on here. It's cool to see the setup. Like I said, it's really nice to see everything in motion at play. And he's going to continue this. He's not done yet. Holy jeez, man. Right, number four this week, we have Dion 20, four-rotor Adam LZ Toyota Supra. This thing is wild. We're in a nice little toge section. Turn your speakers up and have a quick listen to this thing. <laughs> Absolutely insane hearing that thing hit the rev limiter. He also just posted his TE37 day on uh, you know all the social medias. Wild to see him laying down with all those wheels out there. Absolutely insane. How much money is in wheels right there? In, in that one photo. If you had to guess to me, leave it in the comments section down below. And at number three this week, we have Anthony ripping through some traffic here, just making it look easy, sliding around. I don't know if he's on the no hezi servers or not, but he definitely is making this look good. Look at his graphic settings as well, too. His smoke is looking consistent. I will say, though, this man has got to be in cockpit view, looking at the replay in third person. Right? I mean, that's the only way you can really be as consistent as this clip, I feel like. I don't know. I feel like whenever I'm in third person view, it's never that smooth. Only in the first person. And that's why you see a lot of the clips that you see on TikTok and Instagram. They are driving in first person, showcasing the third person. If you don't believe me, look at the next clip that you see. I guarantee you they're not driving in third person, right? Huge thank you. Anthony rolling in number three number two this week podium finish here for simple man Mike with his beautiful Mustang GT 350R uh, through once again the Shotoko right he's pulling a full 360 through traffic as well too he's making it look way too easy like I said these guys are good and of course he's in replay with the drone camera going on and making the drone cam even look buttery smoother here just as good as the driving right it's nothing better than seeing a clip that is edited and drone captured as good as the driver itself i think we have one of those clips and it's just been nice to see clips rolling back in for top 10 if you guys do have a clip make sure you guys send it in links are found down below and then if you guys do submit your clips that might even get you an entry into that benq monitor that we're giving away at the end of the month Number one this week, we have a vote for number one, starting us off here with Adriano with his E36 versus S13 Toge tandem right, over at Mujimi Line Japan here at a set of course. Right, super technical course by the look of it. Uh, very high speed as well too, which is really nice to see both these drivers just absolutely tossing it. And they see, oh, whoa, we got a little overtake as well too. We're gonna change it up, S13 leading the way for a bit. And what I liked about these two clips that I've chosen for number one this week is that they're lengthy. They have a good length to them. They have some good solid tandems the entire way through it's not just a one or two corner thing these guys are consistent they're skillful and for that I felt like they did right right and for that I felt like they deserve to be at that number one spot right just have a quick listen to this sink this in and just enjoy the drive <laughs> Also, too, no, no music on these clips. That was another big thing that I really liked about it. I didn't have to just mute the entire audio and then have to, you know, worry about it afterwards. These guys gave me pure game sound with these two cars ripping around. And for that, I really did appreciate that. They're driving, though. Definitely great. I would have liked to maybe see a three-man in there, maybe a little 360 going in. I'm just kidding, right? I'm asking for too much now. But like I said, though, this is a vote for number one. So both of these have a chance to win the battle now we will be finding out the number one spot next week on friday so make sure you guys do subscribe with post notifications to see who wins the battle for number one so going against adriano is zen here with a grand turismo 7 clip at deep forest raceway this is a smooth clip this is buttery grand turismo 7 is a little bit harder 
to get right when you are drifting. And also, when you're drifting with the pack, it is even harder to stay consistent. You make one brake check, you're gonna go into each other, the lag gets super realistic, right? It's not a fun experience out there, right? So I really appreciated this clip for just the sheer consistency and the quality of the tandems. It really was a great GT7 clip, and you don't get a lot of them nowadays, I feel like. Right, so I just, I couldn't decide who was gonna take home the number one spot. That's why I needed you guys to do it for me. So, right, I'm gonna ask you guys in the comment section to vote who you think is taking home the top spot. Everybody that is showcased today, though, like I said, will be entered into the giveaway for that BenQ monitor at the end of the month. So I will be drawing all that. Names will be tallied. Do not worry about it. If you're featured, you see your name, you're in the draw. Top 10 Drifts of the Week, that's it today. We're done. We do have some honorable mentions out here, though, right? So I definitely appreciate all the clips. If they're not showcased in the main slides, right, you might see yours either at the beginning or at the end, right? You never really know. But this guy tossed it, though, right? Simon says do a backflip or two, right? And to finish up the day today, we have Convict here with his Mercedes whipping it through traffic here, his C63. This thing's super clean. I love the graphics. I love the rain. Huge thank you to you guys for coming around for today's episode and participating in the first 2024 Top 10 Drifts of the Week. He's back on this Friday, man. This is actually week number two here on 2024, and we still have our BenQ Mobius Gaming Monitor giveaway up for grabs once again. If you guys missed last episode, make sure you guys go ahead, check that out down below. But today, though, we're here for another round of top 10 clips. Before we do, though, a little housekeeping. Up for grabs is our BenQ EX3210U. This is a 4K gaming monitor, a stunning one millisecond response time out here, built-in speakers, microphone, you have the HDRI, the color shuttle to maximize that gaming experience. There will be three ways to enter in, one of which is the Gleam links found down below. Second will be to actually enter in your clips. If you are showcased in top 10 drifts, uh, you will be entered into the giveaway. So anybody that you do see here with their names on the top right of the screen will be entered in. And three, uh, just comment down below top 10 drifts. That's all you need to do. And I'll be pinning one lucky winner in about three to four days. Last episode, we had Brenton Griffin Jr. Top 10 drifts finally back. Let's go. So he's going to be entered in to the giveaway as well. And then, like I said, we will be pulling the winner at the end of the month uh, to be receiving a brand new BenQ Mobius gaming monitor. And just a huge thank you to BenQ. But uh, top 10 drifts though. We're back today for week number two here in 2024. I'm excited. I had a lot of comments last episode how excited they were to have the series back. A lot of people really enjoyed it, really missed it as well too here on the channel. So we're back today. We're going to go over how to submit your clips. It's very simple. Discord links are found down below enter into the discord you're going to find a top 10 links category on the left and you're going to go ahead and submit your clips whether it be youtube just a file itself i can pull them right off the discord i'm excited and i'm here for the long haul man start us off number 10 with grand theft auto 5 from lad nst with a huge entry going the other way he said you know what i'm going the opposite direction i need to hit a quick little u-turn and he does exactly that outlining the curb with the tire. You can't get any closer than that. You really can out there. That's Monaco almost, basically, man. Number nine, Elreza 8008 with some Ride 4, maybe, I think this is what this is. It's a very difficult game to get correct. And the fact that this man is sliding around here is very impressive, right? I love seeing these two-wheel clips slide in here. And uh, hopefully, have, have we ever seen a bike tandem before? I don't think that's ever been a thing, is it? There should be some bike tandems. That's all I'm saying, man. Number eight this week, we have Ivan with a massive entry here on Live for Speed. Now, I don't know exactly what corner this is, but the man tossed it. And I didn't really know this before I set all this up, but you will see Ivan a couple more times before the end of the episode. He just has been sending in good quality clips, right? If you guys have not already, submit your clips to be also entered in the top 10. And right, I mean, there's no count. If I like the clip, it's going in. Sometimes I don't even notice it until I'm going through the editing and I'm noticing that it's the same person sometimes, right? I just I just pick the clip sometimes, right? We have La DVY with a massive reverse 360 tandem. It took him a couple times to get right. The second pass though, holding it down for number seven quite nicely this week. So number six this week, a set of Corsa R35 Rocket Bunny kit. And uh, this has no business being as clean as it is. It really, uh, just the transitions back and forth. It's a super clean edit. The driving is also really nice. And uh, I just appreciated the fact that uh, he was holding that outside line, like all the way around. It's a nice clip, man. 
Really do appreciate everybody throwing in consistency on the clips as well too. And you know, the length of the clips also do matter, right? The difficulty of the clip, how many cars are in there, the creativity, and just overall, how gnarly is it, right? That man is holding that outside line. Beautiful clip. Location's nice, demonic, with a huge clip for number six. Number five this week, live for speed, crawling back in here, man. I gotta get back onto this game. We have Ivan once again for his second appearance here this week with a massive entry. He makes it look good. The creativity of these clips, I don't think I've ever actually seen this angle before on this track. I didn't even know that this spot existed. You can't get any closer. Where's his bumper? Right? Beautiful clip. Love to see Live for Speed back in. Number four this week, Forza Horizon 5, King Smill 50-50 with a massive entry, cruising the back roads, and he is tossing some serious speed. Look at this, 105, I think he got that up to. That's miles per hour, also to note. And he's gonna go ahead and toss a reverse 360 into it. Second gear, keeps it slot, right? That's a nice clip, man. That is a beautiful, clean clip. Number three, we have Rizoa. He's back, man. I haven't seen this man in years on top 10. Last time we did top 10, he was probably in here. He's been so consistent with the clips. Huge thank you for sending this in. Going backwards on the Nuremberg ring, hit the outside carousel. I don't think it gets any better than that. He's still going here. 90 coming down, and he's gonna go for a massive toss. I need to get on this section, right? I forgot about the days of just exploring the track, whether it be backwards or forwards, looking for that perfect layout. The Nordschleife definitely has a couple, I feel like, right? Jeez, man. Number two this week, Ivan. He's back, man. I couldn't believe it when I did it. I honestly, I didn't set this up in any way. This man got three entries into the giveaway somehow this week. Consistency. Like I said, the man's dropping good clips. I asked for clips. He gave me clips. Feel like if you guys haven't already, submit your clips. Beautiful tandems here with Weld, and uh, he's tossing another Live for Speed clip again. Makes me kind of hungry to play this game, man. If you guys are still on Live for Speed, let me know in the comment section down below. Give me a Live for Speed one time in the comments for me, right? Now, this is another vote for number one. Let me know in the comments section down below who you think should take home number one. We had Chattison on D1GP, I'm almost certain, with a crazy two-wheel. After some contact, the panels flying off the cars. I didn't even know that was possible. We definitely need to slow-mo this one time. Right now, I haven't played this game in probably about eight years, I want to say. I have it sitting next to me on my PS2, waiting to go in. Maybe I should make a return on D1GP. This is probably one of the hardest drifting games known to man, I feel like, right? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Do you want to see it for a couple episodes? But going head-to-head, -head, though, this week, number one, we have Fate with a full wheel set up here on, I do believe, the Shotoko. If you haven't already joined up to the No Hezzy servers, make sure you guys go ahead, click the link down below. I have my own affiliate link now. This man is cutting through traffic sideways in his Dodge Charger. I don't know how these people make it look so smooth out here. I do have a brand new adapter so I can actually use my purple wheel and not have to worry about my adapter breaking anymore because it's fully aluminum. So I'm excited to hopefully do what this man's doing and tossing a 360, man. Huge thank you to everybody that submitted a clip this week. Very impressive, right? It's good to be back here on Top 10 Drifts. I feel like it has been way too long. And with the ease and simplicity of Discord, I definitely feel like we're gonna be back, we're gonna be here to stay. And if you guys have not already submit your clips, like I said, the Discord links are found down below for you guys to get into. Right now, we had a huge amount of entries in from last week, so huge thank you to everybody. I still have yet to go through all of them. So if you haven't already, submit your clip for next week. We have two more weeks before the giveaway of our beautiful BenQ 3210U 4K gaming monitor. It's a mouthful, but it's beautiful though, man. BenQ, Mobius Gaming, Huge thank you once again. I've also been using the BenQ monitors as well myself. Absolutely love them. The built-in speakers, probably one of my favorite features on the monitor, because it's very rare nowadays to find a monitor with built-in speakers. And they're good. I haven't had really a need to go any louder than what I do. If I am, I'm on my headphones, right? So it's a really good setup. Make sure you guys go ahead, click those links to enter into the giveaway. I cannot stress it enough. It's an easy entry, and I think it's here to stay for the giveaways moving forward. Huge thank you once again. But like I said, if you haven't already, top 10 drifts, comment down below, gleam, or just enter in your clips. Discord links are found down below. Right, top 10 drifts of the week, week two, 2024. Top 10 drifts of the week. We're here back, episode three, 2024. We are more than halfway complete 
our giveaway with BenQ and Mobius Gaming for the beautiful 4K 32 inch monitor, built in speakers, right? It's a super nice setup. If you guys haven't already entered in, three ways to do so. One of which is entering in through the Gleam links found down below. The second of which is commenting down below top 10 drifts in the comment section down below. And third is being showcased in top 10. So that means entering in through the Discord channel. Links are found That's down sick. below. Huge thank you to everybody that has been submitting your clips. Also to commenting, being active, and also entering into the giveaway. I don't know why you win it. It's a free monitor if you do win it. Valued at over $749. I do believe that's also USD, right? It's a nice monitor. Definitely do not sleep on this. Click those links down below. And once again, huge thank you to BenQ and Mobius Gaming for hooking you guys up with a monitor, right? It's really cool the fact that I can do this for the people that are interacting with this series and keeping it alive once again. I really do enjoy this series. I love looking at what you guys come up with creative-wise uh, and kind of also gets me back on the sim rings, right? I love watching you guys drive and it kind of, you know, drives that passion. I hope I can kind of do that with these videos, right? You see something, maybe you want to go play it as well. So I, hopefully I can motivate you guys in that same aspect. We got a good episode, I feel like. I handpicked these through the Discord channel. I edit this all myself through the top 10 counter. So hopefully you guys do agree with the countdown for today. And it's always nice to see the different clips roll in like we have here with Bamboo and Need for Speed Pro Street. So even if you aren't picked in that top 10, you still get entered in to that giveaway, right? So Bamboo, he's just in the honorable mentions today. However, he will be still entered into that draw at the end of the month. Basically, when it all comes down, we get all the names into the random generator and we pull one, we will have a top 10 drifts winner for the end of the month. Will it be you? Make sure you guys enter in. Will it be you? Down below. Super cool to see everybody coming back in with clips as well too. Like Rozoa, back to back weeks he's been in here. Super cool to see him and Right for this example, he now has a second entry into the giveaway, right? So if that makes sense to you, um, it's just going to kind of combine all your entries into the end of the month's final pool. But really cool to see this Forza Motorsport in the wet, holding it down. This man is good. I, I do believe he competes as well, too. If he doesn't compete, he should because he can definitely hold a mean lead line I feel like and it's still going right? right and this was actually a pretty tough week to judge I feel like right and I put all the clips down this week and uh had a little bit of difficulty choosing that number one but I think I have it I think I have it this week I'd love to know your thoughts down below if you do agree with the top 10 countdown we have one more clip to go in these honorable mentions but once again before we get into the top 10 make sure you guys go ahead click those links enter into the giveaway cannot stress it enough it's a free monitor if you do win it that's all I'm saying, right? Huge thanks for coming around. Huge thanks to the BenQ and Mobius Gaming. And let's get in to the top 10 countdown. Starting us off with, of course, a set of Corsa. Matt Smith, 13 out here. Throwing it down with his S14. Get a little creative underneath of the trailer, man. I like that. Little Jimmy K reaction, right? Kind of. So, same, same, but different, right? What map was he on though right now? It looks like a fun map. GSR Rasmus JMK with a beautiful lead line here. I do forget the track name on here. I've been here a couple times on a Seto. I cannot remember it. Please help me in the comment section down below, man. I feel stupid. I'm so sorry. But this clip was nice though. He sent me both angles. I put them together for him so we can kind of you know, see the outside and inside of the car. And he is dangerously close to that wall. But he does hold it out though with style, right? Huge thank you. Holding down number nine. Number eight this week, Nova Crank with a beautiful entry. At first, I thought he was just going to go back and just a beautiful burnout, but yeah, that's a Ken Block style maneuver right there. That was beautiful, man. Number seven, Live for Speed, Antoine Jr. Some of these names, man, they're tough sometimes, man. Give me a break. Beautiful run. S15 behind him. Give it a clutch kick or two. Holy gee. He does catch up, though, right? Respect. Knocked a few cones off. Someone's going to have to pick those up, sir. Number six this week, UCXT crew coming in here, Ant and Scanny ripping some tandems here on Lime Rock. Obviously, these guys, they've been together for a while, and it definitely does show tandem door to door. One thing I'd like to see for next week's clip, if you do send them in, get the driving line off the road, man. You, right, come on now, I feel like. Right, I'd love to know the comments, though. Do you drive with the driving line on? Yes or no? Let me know. Number five this week, 
showing exactly why you want to submit multiple clips. If I like them, I'm going to pick them. Nova Crank with a second entry for this week with a beautiful double 360 entry in here. I'm not too sure where they are exactly, but I know it's a nice run. We got a nice little Subaru S13 tandem, something you don't usually see nowadays, but uh, it's nice to see it though, right? right? Super close proximity to uh, the tire walls, to each other as well too. Just an overall great 360, right? I had to throw it in there. Double entry, kill shot as well too. This man is gonna be pulling off a couple different entries this week as well too, with a beautiful run, almost mimicking what we've seen in Formula Drift before. He's almost gonna mount that tire before the transition. And uh, don't be afraid to send vertical clips, right? I like to kind of put the three in there. This one, Mercy Alex. This one was really cool. And I respected this because this was a recreation of Tokyo Drift. If you guys don't know, right? That's uh, DK in front of him here. We got Sean behind him with his damn Mustang holding down some beautiful tandem mountain section. Now, the one thing that I really would have liked to see on this clip, because it was a big one. They did this for, I think, like four minutes or so, just nonstop. I like the traffic. They were dodging a couple, but they never changed positions on the track. I would have liked to see them, you know, take the lead, go into the chase, and try to overtake some of these corners. Maybe I'm getting too picky on these, but it would have been cool to see that. That's all I'm saying. Lead driver had a great line, and I think if this was me, I wouldn't be transitioning either, right? I'd be staying exactly where I am, and just to show you, it just kept going and going, right? <laughs> Definitely respectable clip holding down there for podium finish number two this week we have sakura minimoto with a beautiful line and this is exactly what i was talking about he will be going for the team burst overtake on one of these and this is uh something that i like to see right aggressive driving especially when you have some of those openings and obviously you have to be doing it with drivers that you can trust that are not going to just ram you afterwards and i like this clip because he did overtake him right here the driver that did get overtaken, he's right there with them, not letting them get away. He is instantly on the door, door to door transitions. I like this clip a lot, just the whole style of it. I don't know what it was, if it's the, you know, the records and the differential settings on there, just has that old school feel to the clip, right? And at the end of it, there's like a four car train. It's a beautiful clip, five car, sorry, right? Huge thank you for sending it in. Number one this week though, this is, this is impressive. This is from Impulsive. 1325 and I had to speed this up for a little bit this is almost AI like this man is going to drift the entire Nuremberg Ring Nordschleife in one single swing he is not going to check up one time he is not going to lose his points at all for the entire lap now usually when you lap this it's about what seven minutes or so on a good lap I think the final lap time for this clip was about nine and a half minutes which is truly impressive drifting the entire thing. And the point rack up, I had to record this entire clip because I had to see how long it was gonna go. And it went, and it went, and it went, and it continued to go. And I had to just fast forward just to show you guys how impressive of a drive this is until he gets to the straightaway. And he's just monging it, doing six gear, absolutely peeling out. I wanna know what setup this man is running. I wanna drive this car out here. This is a nice run. Really do appreciate sending this in. Shows the discipline and it really does show what's possible on GT7 for drifting. 375,000 points, man. Ridiculous numbers out here. And he's going to hold down number one this week. Right? I feel like he earned that this week. Let me know your thoughts down below. Finishing it off this week with a little edit from Big Frick. BDB out here, man. Huge thank you to everybody that did submit your clips. Really do appreciate everybody's, uh, you know, activity in the entire series. Huge thank you to Ben Q and Mobius Gaming for their involvement as well, too, and their support, uh, you know, hooking you guys up with a beautiful monitor out here. I've been using Ben Q for all my stuff. If you guys want to purchase anything from them, links are found down below. Huge thanks for watching for today. Top 10 drifts in a week. We're done. Episode 3 out here. Top 10 drifts of the week is back on this Saturday. A little bit different day late, right? It's just Easter weekend, a lot going on. Happy Easter to everybody that is out there watching. Huge thanks for coming around and huge thank you to everybody that did submit their clips for yet another week. This is actually the final week in our BenQ Mobius Gaming giveaway that we have set up here for today. Huge thank you to BenQ and Mobius Gaming for setting this entire month up for us. We do have a beautiful BenQ Mobius is EX3210U 4K 32 inch gaming monitor up for grabs. Just about finished the contest, but it's not done yet. We still have a couple more ways to enter in for this monitor, which will be ending at the end of the month, which if I look at my calendar, 
we're not that far away, right? So Sunday, March 31st will be the final closing date to get your comments in the bottom down below. Top 10 drifts will enter you into the giveaway. I will be randomly selecting one comment and I like our last three week winners that we've had. Also to our fan arts of the day, I forgot to put one last week. So we have two going up for this week. Now, of course, just because we are done for this month does not mean that the giveaways are going to end. Uh, if all goes well, right, we're gonna continue this these next few months moving forward. With saying that, right, continue submitting your clips, right? I really do appreciate everybody's support on the Discord channel. If you have not already, links are found down below to enter into there. Appreciate the variety in these clips as well too. Like we do have FR Legends out here throwing some uphill jump drifts, right? This is a fun game. I haven't played this in a long time, maybe, now's the time to come back to it, right? If you guys are playing it, let me know in the comment section down below. We had a lot of honorable mentions this week. I wanted to try to fit in a few of them for this final week of March, and uh, just overall, really happy with this month. It was a very strong month of clips. I really do appreciate and thank all of you guys for participating in Top 10 Drifts once again, right? It's really cool to see this back here on the channel, and moving forward, I wanna continue doing this every single month, giveaway or no giveaway. Uh, still time to enter in. Gleam links are found down down below to enter into the giveaway and uh, that'll be pulled at the end there also to your comments and of course submitting clips for future top 10 drifts will get you into anything that we're doing later on right and we had jam in here with a really nice comp run there was some really good competition drifting battles competitive drifting clips coming in where they need to be on these lines hitting those sections those markers and staying consistent we appreciate the uh right the real cam with the gameplay on there really right nice little touch i liked it man huge thank you for sending that in plus a bunch of clips that i wanted to put in to the top 10 unfortunately i just ran out of uh spots right i feel like this one here dkm 777 forza horizon 5 r32 he's gonna go for a crazy jump drift entry on this section pops the whole front end up and keeps it going like i said this was a really good clip i really do hope i got the selection right for this week i feel like looking back at some of these now maybe they should have been in the top 10 but i mean that's what i want to know your input down below in the comment section right slap that like button if you haven't already let's try to aim for a thousand likes for these top 10 series right i mean we're gonna try to get back in the swing of things nova crank doing exactly that reverse 360 swig man this guy is very good always consistently tossing us really good clips and this week is no exception to that uh this man just tossing in a bunch of them as well too in the discord and exact same thing i said last week right it doesn't matter how many clips you submit you may get put into the top 10 multiple times in that single week sometimes i don't even pay attention i'm just looking at the clip and then i end up selecting it i'm going through editing picking the names that match up to the clip and i find boom we got the same guy multiple times in the selection but at this point in time right it's right you gotta submit clips right that's all i'm saying man sakura right here we have another really good tandem run. guys just absolutely throwing down hitting those markers staying on that back rail as well too i mean it takes a lot of skill to do what they're doing and keep it consistent the entire way through right jw performance here uh, we're here on the home track that I've seen before on TJ Hunch channel at this location with this setup that he's running right here So it was really cool to see this on a set of Corsa with that middle crate in the middle of the road there What I, I thought it was a crate it looked like a bunch of boxes there. Maybe it's just the mod I'm not too sure, but what track is this called? I'd love to know the name comment section down below this guy made it look good though again great clip I just don't have a spot for it because we're sinking in to the top 10 right now. Starting us off today with Jam, Heart of Jam on his Discord. This was a really cool clip, different perspectives of drifting along the Togan. I thought this was really cool. I just like the creativity, something different as well too. It's a tough place to be sometimes when you have them all laid out. Kelvin Tola dropping back into the top 10, number nine this week with a really cool one. I actually really appreciated this clip. The audio department, the gameplay, the whole thing. Have a quick listen to this one. And then to finish it off, he goes right back into the parking space that he started off in. Little Toyota Yaris, is that what that is? 
Jeez, man. Absolutely shredding it. We have a Mazda 787. Nova Craig once again. I don't think you're supposed to drive this car the way that he's doing it, but he's going to rub the spoiler along the entire back wall, hit a reverse 360, and finish it. That was pretty damn clean, man. What? Like, come on. How do you even do that in a car like that? They have racing tires. Number seven this week, Super CSB7. Doing a couple tandems here with Drift Dad 79. Right? Little father and son tandems out here. Little father son tandems, and I'm going to show you exactly why. These guys are dialed in, in sync with each other. Super CSB7, Car X, and they're even flashing lights. They know it. Drift Dad knows it. Drift Dad's out the grass celebrating. Love the clip. Number six this week, BDB Big Frick. Man, this guy has sent in so many good clips exactly like this one. I don't understand how he's doing it. Is this an edit? Is this a render? Why does it look so good? Why does it look so real, right? I don't know. Just lock into this here. Have a listen. <laughs> that I had to pause and say, right, P5 this week, Nova Crank once again. Now, I didn't actually realize it was him until I was going through the names again because of the fact he's got his full wheel cam out for this one, and I love to see this because he pulls a reverse 360 against a guardrail. Like, that's just a ridiculous clip. I had to toss this in once again. If you guys feel like you can do better, send in your clips. That's all I'm saying right now. This guy's throwing it down. He's putting in the work. Uh... Here again, Noble Craig, man. How many times? This is his third time in here. Fourth time this week. He has four entries in to this monitor. Absolutely ridiculous. And he, I feel, deserves it, man. Look at these clips. Ridiculous. Team first style overtake on the tandem. Coming in real nice. Absolutely loved it. No room for error. Number three this week. Podium finish out here for OGTK Street Pulls. These guys are with a pack, just dialed in, door to door the entire way round. And this is pretty difficult to do, to be honest with you. I know it's Forza Horizon 5, but to stay consistent and know what everybody's going to do, not get on each other's door and have the leg, you know, kind of separate each other, very clean for a four-car run. And they really do make it look easy. Six gear, just ripping it. Obviously, the tires, uh, they're probably on drift tires, I'm assuming, absolutely jacked up, doing 31 and 5th not very realistic but it's Forza Horizon 5 and I appreciate the clip because of that we're also on a uh, self-created track I'm assuming maybe they made it just to set up the tandem but I need to get back on there man it feels like there's a lot of really good created tracks out there that I just haven't really explored right and I do believe Hokihashi put out one uh, just a couple days ago that I wanted to take a look at as well too so we're gonna probably be back on Forza Horizon 5 very soon if I am what car should I drive first I don't know, let me know in the comment section. P2 this week, Easy Play Z1. Here on a set of Corsa with his S15, letting his SR20 absolutely eat through these corners. And he is dialed in. Like, look at the room for error on there. And it does look like he's actually in third person mode and driving like this, which is actually quite impressive. Uh, you know, kind of given the fact that how clunky it does feel sometimes on third person. I gotta figure out what he's using for that third person camera. Because that's dumb nice. The fact that he can hold that in mind is all wobbly sometimes in third person, it feels like. The weight transfer is never really correct. This guy's got it. Full on. Is that considered reverse entry? That was a nice damn entry. Oh my goodness, man. Easy play with a solid P2. Number one this week, though, we're going straight to Long Beach. Johan717. These guys are going to be in tandem the entire way. Definite final battle run for sure. Coming very close to both sections. Could have been a little bit more outside on that wall run, but he does make up for it on uh, that third section right there. Just basically bringing it home on the final quarter. Very clean, disciplined run by both drivers. Love to see those battle clips coming in. Huge thank you once again for coming around for today's episode. Top 10 drifts of the week, right? And BDB Big Frig finishing it off with another really cool just mini edit montage a set of course a run. Like, I don't understand how he's doing these, like I said, but I like them. Every single time I see these, I don't know how much time is being put into these, but I appreciate what he's doing with these clips. But I appreciate everybody out here taking their time to come over to this series, 
uh, and you know, show your support in the comment section. Submit your clips as well too, right? And of course, just a huge thank you to Ben Q and Mobius Gaming. Enter in down below for your chance to win the EX 3210U 4K gaming monitor. If you're not doing that, I don't know why you're not. Also too, BenQ has their March Madness going on right now, which may be ending very soon. So get involved in that if you're looking for some free stuff, man. Huge thanks for watching for today. Top 10 drifts of the week, 2024, week four. We're done. I made it. I made it. Heck yeah, man. Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.